everyone and welcome to Jack and Cat Adventures. Today we're going to be making pumpkin cheesecake tarts. So let's get started. In a food processor you're going to need two-thirds cups of ginger snap cookies, about 15, and we're going to grind them into crumbs. Okay. You're going to melt two tablespoons of butter. Pour this in a bowl. All right, and then let me get this all cleaned up so we have room. Leave that there just in case I don't have enough crumbs. Um, let me just measure them real quick. I didn't even do that. Oh yeah, there's two thirds. Okay, perfect. Now you're going to add your melted butter. And we're going to mix that around, I'm just going to use a spoon, we're going to mix that around until it's well coated. Those ginger snaps smell wonderful. A few of them are a little bit not crushed up, just take the back of your spoon and crunch them up. No biggie. making sure I got them all. And then you're going to take about three quarters of a tablespoon and of crumbs and put them in each mini tin. I have the papers in. They won't, you have to use the papers or there'll be a mess trying to get them out. You'll just tear them all up. Yeah. Trust me, we tried. Okay. I'm going to get my measuring spoon out just because um, I want to make sure I, I get it right. Alright, so I'm using just a tablespoon and I'm just doing three quarters approximately. If you run out of um, cookie crumbs, just make a little bit more. It's not a big deal, really. And then what I do is I just take my stomper. I got this at um, Pampered Chef. I've had it for probably 20 years. 120. Now all you do is push it down, like so. And there you have it. You have your... So I'm just going to continue to do this and then we'll move on to the next step. Alright guys, I had to make a little bit more of the cookie crumbs. Like I said, it's not a big deal. I'm doing one pan right now because I'm not sure. I cannot remember if this makes one pan or two pans. So I'm just going to do one right now and if we need to do another one that's fine. So this is going to go into your 325 degree oven for four minutes. Alright so now um, my crumb, cookie crumbs are done. I'm going to let them cool a little bit. In a mixing bowl you're going to take one eight ounce uh, cream cheese soften and one cup of pure pumpkin, not pumpkin pie um, mix. The pumpkin pie mix has all the stuff in it that we are adding, so don't use it, just pure pumpkin. We're gonna mix this until it's smooth. All right, once your mixture is nice and creamy, I'm gonna add a half a cup of sugar, one teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice, and one teaspoon of vanilla. And you guys, if you are baking for the holidays, make sure you get pure vanilla. Don't get imitation vanilla. You're going to get a little bit more for it, but it makes sure um, you're, it just adds a better ingredient to the stuff that you're using already. Never use imitation. It gives you like an aftertaste. You'll notice a big difference. If you use imitation all the time and you switch to pure vanilla, you'll notice a difference. Um, when you say imitation, is that like vanilla extract versus Well, this is this? vanilla extract, okay. but it, the imitation is not oh, from the vanilla Oh, it says imitation bean. vanilla. Okay. Yeah, it's usually gotcha, in a gotcha. smaller bottle, probably about that big. Sometimes it comes in a bottle this big, but I have not seen it in years. Just don't buy imitation. Just get pure vanilla. And you can get pure vanilla at your Costco. It's really reasonable there. 
this vanilla lasts forever. I mean, you're only using a teaspoon or two teaspoons in each recipe, so. It don't last that long around here. It don't last long around here because I bake all the time. But especially with your Christmas cookies, get all the pure ingredients you can. It makes a difference. Let's mix this until it's mixed in nicely. Make sure you keep scraping down the sides and bottom of your bowl. All right, now you're gonna add one, two eggs, one at a time. Make sure it gets mixed in. Always crack your egg into something else in case you get shells. You don't want that shell into your mixture. Unless you're feeding it to people you don't like. Right, then I don't need them all. <laughs> you just throw the whole thing in there. All right, I'm gonna add my second one. As you can tell, that's why I'm behind the camera and not in front of the mixer. All right, once everything is mixed well, clean off your beaters. You know my hands are clean, I wash them all the time. Hot soapy water in my dish pan at all times. No dishes in it, just for my hands right now. Okay, so I'm just gonna give this a quick one stir thing, all right? Now, you're gonna fill these to three quarters of the way full. I am using a cookie scoop. It's one of the small ones. I would say it's probably a half. That's uh, about three quarters to one inch. Eh, yeah, about, about that. Um, I'm just going to see how much a full one does. And that is perfect, you guys. So I'm going to fill these, and I'll get back to you. All right, you guys. Um, I ended up making another batch of the crust, and I probably still won't have enough. This makes probably about three or four trays. I will let you know exactly when we're done. You're going to put this in the 325 degree oven for exactly 35 minutes. All right, these are out of the oven. Now you're gonna let them cool completely and then we're gonna put them in the refrigerator. Just wanted to let you know that this was a 14 ounce package of the ginger snaps. I used the whole thing. It came out to four separate recipes of the uh, crust. Um, it made 72 cheesecakes. 71 because Jack ruined one so he can eat it. Um, so, Oops. <laughs> so just let them cool and after they're cold, put them in the refrigerator. So please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And remember, you do you.